Hello, Richard from BunchOfGuitars.com. I apologize for the audio. I don't have my lapel mic on. I'm just talking to the uh, to the microphone in the phone. Last week I did a video. Look at me like posing. Last week, last week I did a video on ten reasons that you need an HX stump, and I talked about being able to buy the software program Helix Native for only a hundred bucks. And then I said, I thought, I thought it would run on an i5, which, you know, that means a computer made in the last, like, let's say six years, basically. But when I read through the specs, the minimum system requirements for the Helix Native, it was bizarre. It said, dual core processor and whenever somebody says dual core processor makes me think of the core 2 duo that made me remember something i happen to have a 12 year old macbook white macbook that i got for a hundred bucks because somebody didn't want it it was obsolete this is a 12 year old computer now i've updated the operating system on this thing as far as it can go I have upgraded the RAM to 8 gig. Actually, if you know somebody with one of these, they'd probably be willing to give it to you. That's not the point. The point isn't that it's that it's a Mac, because I think that this experiment would also work on any decade or 12-year-old Windows laptop that has a Core 2 Duo processor. So line 6 says dual core processor, but will it really run on this thing? And if it does run, is it going to crash the computer? So maybe you've got a 10 year old or a 12 year old Mac or PC laptop sitting at home. Like in a pinch, if my HX stomp died, could I use my 12 year old laptop as like a backup? Today we're going to find out. Okay, so here's a time lapse thing where I am basically removing all of the modern components of my studio, or at least a bunch of them. Just taking everything out, right? And I'm gonna replace all this stuff temporarily with a 2019 MacBook. Yes, Core 2 Duo, eight gigabytes of RAM. For an interface, I'm using my old Scarlett 2 i2, which uh, is still a pretty good interface, honestly. So now let's go ahead and download the software. As you can tell, I've sped up the footage, which you should be grateful for because otherwise it would be like a 10 minute process right here. So I download Helix Native, install it, run the installer. Don't you wish it really went this fast? Wouldn't that be awesome? Okay, now my voiceover is over. You're not gonna be able to see this too well, but uh, up here on the screen, got a CPU indicator that's going to tell me how hard we're pushing this system and it's going to tell us whether HX native crashes this 12 year old computer or not. Now keep in mind it's not just the HX native I'm running an entire Logic Pro 10 session here. I'm running an older version of Logic. This is version 10.3.3. I bought Logic I want to say six or seven years ago. And the latest version of Logic has no chance of running on a 12 year old computer flat out. And yet I could still connect to the app store with this 12 year old machine. And when I went to Logic, it said, well, the latest version won't run on your computer. Would you like to download the most recent version of Logic that will run on your machine? And I said, yes, Apple, I would. And then I did, and it does, it runs. So anyway, let's get to it. Okay, so in Logic, I'm setting this up so that the Scarlett 2i2 is going to my PA, and uh, it's also the input for the computer. Because of core audio, which is one of the reasons that the Mac is such a great AV platform, because of core audio, I don't need to worry about drivers for almost anything, uh, including this guy here, this focus, right? So. And apply changes. The window opens. That's a good sign. Can you, you can you see that? And see if it actually works. I'll be a little surprised, but I mean it's usually you get like an error message or I don't know. let's find out. Okay, so 
too loud. So I've got signal here. It's too loud. Okay, I'm in the green here, so that's good level. I got this going to the PA, and now uh, I got an amp selected in here. So I want to turn on software monitoring and logic. So I'm gonna turn this on, and this should do it. We have sound. We have reverb. Wow. It works. Huh. Uh, let's try another amp. <clears throat> of course, the Line 6 uh, native patches are horrific, so let me tweak a little bit. Let's see, bass, get that bass down. I think the most important thing is probably the uh, high cut for the cabinet. All right, let me high cut the other cabinet. All right. Okay, so obviously the the uh, the software takes a little tweaking, just like the real thing. But this is a Helix. This is software Helix. So, to answer the question, does it work? Yes, it does. But let's look at the CPU load. Let's have a look at that. Okay. I wonder if I can... Oh, yeah, here you go. So you can see this a little bit bigger, maybe. So it looks like the CPU load is about 50%. So this 12-year-old computer can run Helix Native inside of a DAW with 50% uh, CPU. That's way better than I thought, to be honest. Yeah, I'm impressed. Wow. That's crazy. That's so cool. Well, what did this actually mean? Well, if you've got an HX Stomp, you can spend $99, get Helix Native, and you can run it on your toaster, essentially. All right, maybe not your toaster, but any Core 2 Duo computer, I'm assuming, uh, with, I would assume, 8, 8 gig of RAM, but maybe less, will run this software. For Windows, I believe that you want to go on an old machine like this, you probably want to go with something like Windows 7. Windows 7 uh, is a good operating system if you're going to run Windows. I wouldn't go earlier than Windows 7, but Windows 7 is pretty darn solid. And so, and then on the Mac, well, OS 10 point something. I mean, I forget. Let me tell you what I'm running on, on this old boy. Again, 12-year-old computer, I'm running El Capitan. I'm wrong. This is a 13-year-old computer. This, is, uh, this came out in late 2009, and it's a 2.26 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo. So there you go. Got it for 100 bucks by somebody who didn't want it anymore because it was obsolete. It may be obsolete, but it's also a Helix, right? There's a reason that the word budget is in the name of my channel and my website. Yeah, I'm impressed. I call this experiment two thumbs up. So there you go. I hope that you found that entertaining and or useful. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, all that jazz. And I will see you again next Friday at five.